I don't know. I heard that one. So like how the Oracle is doing now. So all the things like the databases and everything. Is mm-hmm. they, as a competition or like uh, Amazon, they mm-hmm. have they has their own databases and they also is a similar way. It's in a competition way. So, so some of couple of my friends they also said so when I was asking them for the suggestions, then they they said. So it's not only the Oracle, there's competition for us, the, like Amazon and all those things. So you have to be look into that one also for the, if you want to get into the Oracle. See, uh, the biggest problem with cloud is I can tell openly. And uh, even I haven't started any cloud training wantedly. The reason is, uh, first main reason, everybody is confused about cloud. Okay, so how to learn cloud is a completely different concept and that's something I want everyone to know cloud is a collection of all the skill set like you have storage you have network you have operating system you have server you have database admin you have developer you have all the roles and responsibilities in one cloud that means uh, a programmer can also learn cloud right a network engineer can also learn cloud and migrate to cloud. Now as a DBA, you have to learn cloud from someone who is a DBA and who has learned cloud. So learning cloud from a network guy who migrated or upgraded their skills to cloud is a different concept. Learning cloud from somebody who was a system admin and now he has upgraded his skills to cloud is a different game from whom you should learn cloud is the biggest challenge uh, because yeah. cloud is different for every skill set all right so there are a lot of fake trainers who have emerged in the market and these fake trainers i won't call them fake a uh, lot of dbas are trying to learn cloud from a system engineer who has uh, upgraded his skills to cloud now for for system engineers cloud is a different game for Oracle DBAs cloud is a different game. So learning from the right person is more important. That's the point number one. All right. Second thing, if you learn one cloud, all the clouds are same and it is so simple that people are not understanding it. If you learn AWS cloud, IBM cloud is same. Google cloud is same. Microsoft Azure is same. Now, a lot of idiots will shout at me saying like, come on, Arun, how come uh, all the clouds are same? I'll tell you what many clouds have developed their own jargons like uh, LAS, PASS and so many other terms, right? Oracle has its own jargons. Uh, AWS has uh, EC2 instance, RDS instance. So they have their own uh, jargons. Every cloud is trying to create their own jargons. But let's talk on a fundamental level. It is as simple as ABC. You will have a server server can be either virtual or physical if the server is in cloud and it is on physical server then it is called as bare metal right so understanding if you understand the fundamentals well you can work on any cloud so you don't need to learn all the clouds you technically you cannot learn okay it's better you learn one cloud whether it is aws ibm or google cloud and then you use your knowledge on that cloud to understand the other cloud technologies, right? So I'll give you one example in a different perspective. Now that you are an Oracle DBA, you learned one database, right? You mastered Oracle DBA. Now, if you go ahead and learn other databases, it will be pretty simple for you. So mastering one cloud is more important. It's not like uh, you can master all the clouds at once. It won't happen. So it's better you master one cloud. You start from anywhere. I I can guarantee it. You try to learn Microsoft Azure, you learn Google Cloud, and then the same knowledge you can implement on all other clouds. There is a very small difference in the way services are delivered to the customers, but all in all, it's one and the same. 